Right, so we're actually on Monday um, <clears throat> into this heat wave that we've got, and I've had, or I've got several people going off, and I've actually got several people coming on. So we've got a, a relatively busy day again, <clears throat> chesty, um, and our bins are full, um, or fairly full. So I'm going to be jumping in the big uh, biffer bins to compress it all down. I'm going to be running down and emptying the dog bin, which I do on a Monday and a Thursday, but I'm going to put the dog poo after I've jumped on the bin, because you do not want to be jumping on dog poo. <clears throat> and then um, a couple of people that are going off and um, now before uh, before one o'clock gives me access to um, some taps so I can get a hose pipe on and I can get some, um, some of these dividers uh, watered basically. So that is what I'm gonna get on with. This video is probably gonna go up um, tomorrow, Tuesday, um, because it's Sandra's my wife's birthday today. So happy birthday, Sandra. So I did put up another video in the small hours of this morning wishing Sandra a happy birthday. Right, time to grab the hose pipe. Oh, I forgot the hose pipe connector. Hang on a minute, back in we go. I always do this. Just um, show you what I'm on about. So I carry an assortment of bits here. This is a, this is below my computer screen here. Look. Um, so these are the hose quick attachments. So these screw onto the tap, and then the hose pipe uh, pings onto there. So I'm quickly going to go and use the hose pipe on pitch number one because that's empty at the minute. Um, and then shortly when pitch number. Uh, three goes, I can get the other bed done and I've got another hose pipe going to come free in what we call the centre island. So quite a lot of um, watering to do before people come on. Let's uh, go and have a look at that now. Right, so I'm bring that onto there. That's the quick release here, onto here. And then will it come flying off or will it stay on? Pipe there. Let's uh, turn this. I need. I need two hands. Give me one moment. So I'm first of all, I'm just going to give this um, this grass a dousing. Um, it was turf laid earlier on the year, and it's taking a hammering with the um, with the lack of water. So I don't know whether you can see. Um, So I haven't mowed over on this for um, for a couple of weeks because it's uh, it this badly needs um, to start to regrow. And as I say, we've not we've not we've just not had any rain for weeks, months even. And so it's always a mad scramble sort of getting these jobs done um, before people check in. So I've had somebody phone me. Um, about 10 minutes ago, um, wanting to come and check in at noon. Um, unfortunately, that pitch that he wants to come into, which I've checked, um, is going to be free and it's going to be tidy and everything. So uh, it's not a problem. So it's nice when people let you, well, let you know that they're, they're going to come early and they've asked if that's okay. Right, you don't want to be watching me hose piping water, do you? It's not very exciting, is it? Um, but yeah, just give this give this a five minute go. I would normally do this earlier um, in the day or um, into the uh, into this afternoon, but it's just going to be uh, uh, relentless with the heat. Right, and onto the pitch dividers. give these a good drink. I need to get um, a couple of perennials for these um, that have been eaten by rabbits but I'm not going to do that until we um, until we know we've got rain on the way. I'm making rainbows, I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so I've allowed um, one couple to stay on uh, for a little bit of a late departure, so I'm just waiting for them to go, and I've allowed one on for an early departure. Um, 
The other day, uh, just let me show you this, it's quite funny, I don't know if the, the GoPro will show up, I've shown you the uh, watering system that we've got and we've got a couple of leaks and um, if you look at the grass, I'm not too sure that's picking up, but where the water is excessively leaking, the grass is green and lost, um, lush even. So, um, yeah, so I've actually just been watering some grass, grass areas because um, everything is absolutely parched at the moment and, and we've got no rain on the forecast for a, a good couple of weeks. So I've just lobbed myself some chicken in the oven, that'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Uh, and I'm just going to come over and say, see if Rush is about. Hello Rush. So she's uh, here. Hello Rush. Come and say hello. She's is she running around in the garden. Oh, hang on, she's having a bit of a scratch. Come on, hello, how are you doing? You've been a good girl. Yeah, who's a good girl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's having a nice play and everything. So, um, my golly, it's warm in this morning. Flipping heck, I've got um, I've got two fans on every window open. It is scorchio. It is seriously warm in here. Behind me, Charlie, like a uh, my my own sauna. Mm. So I've cooked myself. Um, it's a red hot day, and I've cooked myself a hot dinner today. I need to get to um, little. I need to do a food shop. I'm well out of um, sandwich stuff, and even I've just used my last bit of bread. Anyway, for my dinner today, I've actually gone for a meat option um, here, which is um, like a chicken fillety sort of type thing. Um, with a bit of garlic mayo on um, on a bit of bread. So um, yeah, that's today's meat option for my dinner. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for my tea yet. And Russia has got the sniff of my chicken. <laughs> she, she really is a crazy dog, isn't she? A bit of a deceptive afternoon um, in the van. It's absolutely, seriously roasty out. Um, but out here on the uh, touring area, there's a bit of a gentle breeze, which is a bit of a bit of a killer, really, because it, the the heat off the sun, you could end up getting um, sunburn. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and um, tackle one of these um, dividers with the plants in with these new little cutters. Uh, I'm not going to stay in the sun too long and end up giving myself heat stroke or anything like that. So uh, yeah. I want, to do a bit of, I want to do a little bit of cutting. I'm just waiting for three or four to come on this afternoon. Um, I was hoping that everybody would be early today because I need, ideally, I need to go out and get myself some food. Anyway, that's the way the mop flops. Yeah, so this, these little cutters are definitely doing the, doing the job. Um, was, what the problem was, was I was like, trying to use these um, garden shearing type things by hand and it was not easy doing it, but these are. Uh, yeah, this is dead. This, this is easy now. It's a bit like shooting a sheep, isn't it? But a grassy sheep. So today is Sandra's birthday, which I think I mentioned uh, earlier on this. So I did um, a, a little collage of um, photographs of us being together for the last year. So we don't get to see that much of each other. But when we do, we always make an effort to get out and things. Anyway, um, Sandra cuts my hair uh, and she's not been up. I can't remember whether it's getting on to two months and she's not due up for another couple of weeks. But my hair is going, it's becoming like a bit of a COVID hair. And I haven't got any cutters with me, and Sandra cuts my hair. And on the year of the COVID, I have got a video. If I, re if I remember, I will link up there a video to me cutting my hair during COVID on a campsite. Aren't these like, they, I mean, we could cut, I could cut my hair with these, couldn't I? Eh? Would you cut your hair with garden cutters? That could be interesting, couldn't it? All right, so I've got one person to check in who allegedly is going to be here at seven minutes past five. And I've also meant to be having a, a conference video call tonight at seven. So I've asked Paul um, to look after the, the last person back of the uh, back of the campsite to check in. And I need to go and do a very quick um, uh, little shop because I've just run out of fresh, oh, excuse me, fresh stuff. Um, so I need to go and get some stuff. So straight in and out and away we go.
Oh, we had a, a smashing guy um, stay with us over the weekend. Um, a photographer, videographer, sort of guy. Really, really, really nice. Um, he was in a recce for some work he's doing shortly. Hang on a minute, my dog's barking. Just bear with me one moment. Sorry about that, my dog barks when he hears my voice. Um, she had her head out of my caravan window. Anyway, um, um, yeah, brilliant. He offered to send up his little um, Mavic drone for us, DJI, um, and shoot some aerial um, footage. So um, I asked him if he could do a little video of him, um, the trip coming down what was called Coots Lane, and then to get to the campsite, you have to pass through a... My dog is driving me nuts tonight. I'll try again. For some reason, the Russia does not like some little chihuahuas that somebody keeps walking by. Anyway, um, yeah, so when you come to the site, you sort of come down this lane called Coots Lane, and then it sort of mysteriously goes through a, a farmyard. And it's like, where on earth are we going? Anyway, I'm going to drop some aerial footage in here, and you can sort of see the site from above. And it's really weird because the site looks really, really tiny. But um, but anyway, let me drop some um, drone footage in here, and you can see how you get into the site, um, and also a little bit of a whirlwind of the thing. So enjoy these next couple of clips I've got coming. On Tuesday, um, very warm in bed last night, um, very, very warm, and it's very cloudy, as you can see, but extremely warm. Uh, I've changed all my bedding um, overnight, so I'm going to um, lob that into the washing machine as my first job this morning. So nice, clean uh, bedding on the bed. All right, so that's on the wash. So into the office now. Um, I'm going to be letting Paul shadow me a little bit today. Um, I say it's a fairly easy day, so it's just basically I've shown the booking system how to get logged onto the computer um, and to get today's checkouts and check ins ready. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a shadowing day today. All right, so I've had uh, Paul sort of shadowing this morning. Um, as I say, he's going to be helping me out a couple of days um, with some bits and bobs. So, just showing him what's, uh, what's going on. We've um, decommissioned one rubbish bin, so this one is full, so that's the back, and we've got um, that one's semi full for recycling. How exciting! Bins, that's a canoe. Um, this Luna Caravan here um, was going to be used if somebody needed to come on the site um, for accommodation, but we are going to be putting this up for sale. And so, what I'm going to do shortly, um, I'm going to go move this. I've got like a little storage area. Um, and so, I'm just going to go and get. Uh, my windy drilly type bit 
to wind up the corner sellies and pull my car out as well, ready. And pull that down the uh, down the site. But we should come on, we're gonna say hello to Russia as well. It's a very, very weird day today. It's uh, Paul saying if he thinks it's gonna rain, I said it's too warm to rain. All right, the dog's heard my voice. Where are you, Rash? Is she anywhere to say hello to me? Hey, there she is. Come say hello. 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 Hi, 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 hi. You've been barking this morning. What have you, what have you been barking at? Hmm? What have you been barking at? Who have you been barking at? Oh, I need to get a kettle as well. My kettle, um, it boiled once this morning and then it wouldn't boil for a second cup of coffee. So new kettle needed. Right, somewhere in this caravan, I've got my uh, extension for my drill. I need to find it. Shut up, barking. So I'm just going to take a quick walk down to um, a little camping area we've got, which you don't think you're particularly seen in use. So we have got a couple of tents down here at the minute. And um, we have got a couple that are camping with us in a tent. They've come all the way from Warrington on the back of the Travel Trolls, Dan and Mazzy's video. Thank you, Dan and Mazzy. That's more people that are on here because of our YouTube. Um, and I think they may be in, if they are, at the cars here, they might say hello. Right, so as I say, I don't think you've actually seen people camping in here. So we've got um, some camping pitches down here, four of them, all with electric. Um, and this is overlooking the farmland here. There is a dike, so if you come here, don't go down the dike. And the farm um, in the distance there where the barn is, that's where the barn owl um, is living. And as I say, um, another generous pitch here. So what you need to do if you do come in a tent and you want to camp here, you um, unload your car, get yourself set up, and then we've got um, car parking spaces um, up at the top end of the site. And this couple here um, have come on the back of YouTube, like I said, and um, they are big followers of um, Trevor and Pat, um, Life on the Run, and also the Travel Trolls. So I'm going to get them to say a quick hello. And um, do you want to maybe just introduce, you, introduce yourselves and um, give a wave? I'm Louise. Hi. Hi, I'm Malcolm. Yeah. Um, that, hang on a minute, Louise and Malcolm, there was, is, what, what was that? Oh, it's not Bonnie and Clyde, I'm thinking, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Don't think so. Yeah, uh, Dan, Mazzy, thanks for the uh, heads up on this. Trevor and Pat, thanks for the uh, extra little bit of uh, information as well. It's been all very entertaining. We've come here on the back of your uh, videos and we're very pleased to be here. So isn't that absolutely wonderful? Guys, I hope you have a buzzing time with us and uh, welcome to the nurseries and yep. um, I hope it's as you expected it to be. It's all very good. Cheers, yeah, brilliant. Man. All right, look after yourselves, guys. See you later. Right, I'm going to go and move this caravan. Okay, there you are. Isn't that wonderful? I've got a couple of spots of rain, which is more than welcome. Um, so this is day two of this pitch here, uh, this grass, and this had a real good dousing um, yesterday. And yeah, that's 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 definitely greening up so we, we've actually taken this pitch out um, for a week and um, what I might do if people are coming on on Friday I might just bring it in for two days but we are going to give that a chance to recover because we can um, right let's get back up to the uh, back up to the office right. so anybody watching this that isn't into caravans you have um, these little legs here uh, and these are known as corner studies and the idea of these there's one here is these are just loosely wound down when you're on your pitch um, to steady the caravan um, and whatever you do don't ever ever put the full support of your caravan on them corner studies people do that and the corner studies then rip and pop through the um, pop through the floor so they are, they are called corner studies for a reason and basically, you can hand crank them, or if you're a bit posh, is that going the right way or the wrong way? Hang on a minute. Um, I'll try and show you, but basically, not easy. Um, and up it comes. Right, I'm not gonna bore you with that. Right, so we've now got the uh, the Luna uh, hooked on to the back of 
the Corando and I'm going to sort of take it down and uh, we've got like a storage area and then we'll put the corner steadies down so um, the reason I'm going to put all four corner steadies down is when we do come to advertise this and people come to view um, if you go in the van and you've not got them down the caravan can rock and you can get problems so we're going to quickly run over with that and um, wind the legs I'm down singing in the rain just singing in the rain right so a uh, quick look on the outside of this um, so that's your Truma water um, a ledger battery in there you can put an external aerial pole on here there is one on the roof double glazing all the way around it and toilet cassette toilet flush fill vents for the fridge freezer uh, uh, wet locker and a barbie point but we're going to have a look inside oh good boy boy i knew he's still on the bee the bee's just been got by the rain and sorry i need to give a shout out and a thank you to somebody called daryl petterson uh from bgu media who did that drone footage for us so um darren if you catch up this at all uh, thank you ever so much for um allowing us to share that uh, drone footage and if you want to book him for wedding photography and things like that he's a content creator here's his card uh, and then you can see the back of it or not um so yeah that's him uh right so i'm at quarter past one and that caravan's all moved out of the way now so i've got an additional car parking space for campers and day visitors uh i'm gonna go and get myself a quick a butty i think all right so a nice bit of um ham bit of uh, base of salad cream and um some nice crunchy salad on there press that all down and cut that and i'm gonna have a a nice pork pie and fingers crossed a sit down for 10 minutes all right so i'm handing over the reins to paul for the afternoon um and the morning so on his first sort of day looking after things as i'm going to attempt to have a bit of a, a sort of day off uh so look at this here we've got now so if you stay with us and um i don't know you've got a dog you're a bit worried about bringing it out or anything like that um paul and wendy will now do their own deliveries of breakfasts or whatever to your pitch and have a look as you come into um into the reception area you've got an honesty box and make sure you can come and pick up some cake and muffins that's a genius idea that wendy i mean i'm very impressed with that it's very good isn't it i think i think it looks really really nice oh paul's idea okay okay He's, paul's paul's going to take all the credit so um, yeah, so Paul's going to um, yeah, he's looking after the place for a little bit, and um, yeah. I'll be well. I get a bit of time off tomorrow. Right, I'm going to need to nip into Alford. I'm going to pick up a prescription, and then I'm going to Mablethorpe uh, for some diesel. And the reason I'm going to Mablethorpe for diesel is the cheapest place around, and I need to get a kettle. So I'm hoping Tesco's have got one. All right. So one of the reasons why I've driven um, to Mablethorpe to the Tesco's in Mablethorpe is. Um, the last two times I've needed to put fuel in my car, diesel, this has been the cheapest place by miles around. And now it's one of the most bloody expensive places. I've, you can get diesel on a private jet station down the road for 192. I, I might be in 190 actually. What well, I just paid here, 196.9. Um, so the Tesco's in Maplethorpe is no longer the cheap place that it was. And I'm going to go into the Tesco store because I need to pick up a kettle. And I've actually stopped shopping at Tesco's now because they've turned out to be a bit of a rip-off. Um, once they used to be quite a, a reasonably priced store with lots of offers. But now you've got club price offers, non-club price offers. And you've got to have a card for this, a card for that. And uh, you're overbuying a lot of the time because you're buying three for twos. And you don't really need three items. Um, so I've used to love tesco's but i really don't um i've completely fallen out of love with it i've not um been a tesco regular for a good number of years i love little 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 is my favorite stop right now then do you fancy a free holiday we've just had something come up um on our other park in um penzance in cornwall where somebody's got to go home for 10 days they've got a medical anyway they, i won't go into details but basically if you fancy looking after a campsite for, I think it's 10 days, um, so that'd be like taking bookings, cleaning the loos, make sure everybody's happy. It's only a small site, just outside um, Penzance in Cornwall. Let me know, comment or get in touch with me. Um, 
Tesco shop done. I've got nappy bags. You may be wondering why I've got nappy bags. I use nappy bags for um, dog poo bags. And yes, for um, for my sins, I've got a, I've got a kettle, so I can get the kettle on in the morning. Um, that's it. So I'm actually off for the afternoon. This is just going to be feels really strange to get some time off, to be honest. So back up to the site, give Russia a walk, get my tea on, and I'm going to go to Red Lion and have a couple of pints. So I think I'm going to wrap this on um, off here now. So um, I've got to stop saying air and M. Right, tell me office keeps it um 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 anyway. I'm gonna wrap this off now. So if you're a new subscriber here or you just found my channel, thanks ever so much for visiting. I really do appreciate that. Um if you've not already subscribed, you can subscribe down there. I'm sure I'm doing this on the right side. I always get this wrong, don't I? Um and it's been great um to, to have you following and um having you on board while I do these um vlogs of being uh, a campsite warden here at the nurseries uh, in Lincolnshire. Look after yourselves guys, we'll see you on the next time and be safe. See you later. Ooh.